Good afternoon, it's uh, almost 4pm, it's almost sway and stretch time. Um, it's great to be here with you, um, missed yesterday but Dave kindly picked it up for me and um, we have a brand new sway and those good old stretches that we know and love that we've repeated uh, day in day out for the past year and a bit now. Um, who's in? That's all I'm asking. Who's here to join me? Uh, today is Tuesday the 6th of April 2021 and this will be your 4pm sway and stretch if you're here on a catch up. Um, fast forward this bit if you want to get straight into the movement snack. Remember we always start with a bit of circulation boosting just to prepare our body systems, our joints, our muscles, warm you up a little bit uh, before we launch into the main event which is the sway followed by the stretch. And I tell you what, there's no point in stretching if your muscles are feeling cold. They're much better warmed up. Right, Ian, you're the first one in. Hello, welcome. So we've got Yule in. And that's about it, just me and you so far, Ian. Um, early bird and all that. You missed the Y off my name, but that's Kelsey, that's all right. <laughs> there's many a variation. S-E-Y-S-I-E, S-E-A, as in the seaside, um, and a few others on my surname, as you've probably seen, it's a bit unusual. That's my maiden name, though. Um, what you've been up to today then, Ian, seeing as it's just me and you having a chat? Anything good? My garden's been transformed. Did you see my welcome message? Here's Vivian. Hi, Vivian. Did you see the pictures on the welcome message? I've shown you a while back, didn't I? I took a photo of um, my garden plan and I shared it with you. Um, that has been put into play today and we now have a rather nice looking, gut. well, a rather in the process of looking nice garden. Hi Kent, good to have you in. So we've got Bolton, Yule and East Lothian. It's 57 and there's only four of us in. What are we going to do? Well, they can do catch up and we'll get our job done now. I've just got Bob sitting in the corner. Do, do you know what? It's like a little sideshow this is. The movement snack sideshow of life. Bob's sitting on the sofa in... Um, not poised to do a movement snack. That's definitely not the case over there, is it? No. But he insists on hanging around One day I might do it. and then and then he takes the mickey out of uh, what I say. What do I normally say? Hello, movement snackers and snack mates. I'm not quite sure if you lot heard that. <laughs> Hello, movement snackers and snack mates. Um, oh, you've got some gardening for me to do, have you, Ken? I've got about four, three or four ton of um, topsoil to shovel. Um, when I've ordered it, when I've got away with ordering it, you know. Hello uh, to Diane Edwards. She's gone all um, Hawaiian on us today. Have you had the heating switched up or something? Because it's certainly not been warm, has it? We've had flutters of snow today by random bouts of sunshine. Um, yep, yeah, garden's taking shape. It's still got a lot more shaping to take. Um, but it's all in uh, all in a day's work, although I haven't done any work on it today at all. Vivian's saying hello to you, Bob. Hello, Vivian. Oh, he's waving. <laughs> Mrs P's in. Uh, Pat Haynes is in. Yes, Ian, but I do. He's saying I'm being Charlie Dimmock. Charlie Dimmock, but with a bra on, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Had to be said, hasn't it? Um, Red Rita's in. Hello. Um, she's called you Snackets. All you Snackets. Odile's in. Um, Mrs P's in. I've said hello to you. Gillian with the G's in. And I think we're not far off, you know. Gloria's in. Hello, Gloria. Nice to have you along to this sway and stretch. It is four. It's time for a three, two, one. Oh, Bremen's just saying uh, hello as well. He's getting all the attention around here. Come on, look at me. Straight in the eye, not around, straight in. Look, we're going to do a th 
Hang on, three, two, one. Got to get the fingers the right way around there, haven't you? Uh, today is uh, Tuesday, the 6th of April, 2021. You're with me, Kelsey Leverton, and I bring to you your 4 p.m. movement snack, the third and final one of our movement snack trios. Every day, every week, every month, every year. So far, that is. Uh, check your space around you. Make sure that it's clear and free of clutter and potential hazards. If you're in standing, you will perhaps need some external support that's fixed and firm, heavy piece of furniture or something that's not going to move if you need it to steady your balance on. And a chair, a dining chair tends to be a good option. It's firm, straight backed and uh, ready to take you through to our 4pm movement snack. We'll start at the feet. If you want to begin with the foot pedals in seated or standing, we can actually do a bit of posture checking as we get stuck in. So lifting tall, lifting the rib cage high and lengthening through your core area, your midriff area. If you're in seated, you might choose to just take a few hip walks traveling forwards. Uh, so lifting through the chest, lifting through the top of your head and just relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. You can of course hold on to the side of your chair or onto your external support. If you're ready for some leg marches, bring those in. We're only going to need about two to three minutes worth of circ boost and that's just enough to get us going, to get us moving and to get our circulation boosting, muscles warm and joints a bit warmer as well. By all means, if you feel like your legs need to go back to the foot pedals, return back to them at any point. And if you want to, when you're ready, bring in an arm swing. Both arms can be brought in at the same time, but some of you may need to just keep a handhold onto your external support um, as that can help you just to manage your balance as you get stuck into this move. So by releasing the support, make sure you just feel able to do that and just steady as you keep moving through leg marches and arm swings together. You might start feeling a bit warmer and that's good. That's exactly how you should be feeling now. Find your rhythm and pace. You might notice as well that your breathing rate has just risen a little bit along with your heart rate, but nothing too much. This is sustainable. Bring that down to a stop. Take a pause there. Just to readjust your posture, standing your weight evenly over your right leg and your left leg, or sitting evenly over your buttocks. Lift and lengthen. Take a few longer, deeper breaths. And there we have our circulation boosting job done. We're gonna move into a sway routine. Now we always, at the beginning of a new sway, start simple and layer bits and pieces on that you can take or leave throughout the rest of, um, well, pretty much until Friday. We've, we should have our sway routine in place by Friday. Just maybe bring your feet in a little bit narrower, but nothing that will challenge your balance here in standing. And remember, you've got your support options that might be to the side of you or directly in front of you. So you would do the single arm option as we begin this sway routine. Exactly the same in seated. So here we go with just a, a float up with the arms and a float down. We've done this a few times. That's just the fire popping away in the background there. As you lift up, try and lift and lead through the wrists with the elbows and hands, not really coming any higher than shoulder height there. Loose fling fingers, loose wrist, loose elbows. Join that with a bit of breathing. So a slightly longer, deeper breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just bring that down 
let your arms relax and rest and stop. We're going to join in a little bit of uh, ankle movement here. So the ankle movement looks like this, it's just a lift and a lower. So it's like a foot pedal, but in a little bit of slower motion. Just show you from the side. A lift and a lower, and a lift and a lower. This is rolling through the foot, moving through the ankle as well. So begin with the legs, hold on if you need to. You know, there's a, quite a shift of weight here. You can replicate this down in seated if leg movements are on your radar as well. And here we just do with the arms. So there's double arms if you want to use both arms included with this slow motion heel pedal. Or just the one arm coming in and then maybe change in sides in a moment or so. Now with that foot pedal, you can either come onto the ball of the foot to crease your shoes across at the toe joints or all the way up onto your big toe. It's up to you. So all the way up onto the big toe requires a bit more lift through the ankle and you might feel a bit more work and movement going through the instep as well. Let's just do maybe a couple more. So you really have to transfer and load the weight through the standing leg. All of the weight's pretty much off this leg that's lifting through the heel. And your movements can be as slowed down as you like. Have we got some wet wood in that fire? <laughs> Take a pause there. Sounds like a little spud gun going off in the background. All right, everyone. We're now, we're going to leave that there. We're going to bolt onto that tomorrow, of course, and, and for the following few days. Um, but now we'll head into our stretch. We're going to start with legs this time. So let's move into a calf stretch. I'll give you a standing version and a seated version, and you can take what feels right for you today. And it, even if you finished one lot side, repeated it on the other, and you've got time to crowbar in an extra stretch on each leg, add an extra one in as well. So here we are in a long stride in standing, upright lengthened posture, front leg bent and back leg straight. Feel free to adjust the length of your stride, but the heel stays down and planted. Just check on the back toes that they're pointing forwards as well. Sometimes they can sneakily turn out. So heels in line with toes, leaning into it to get a bit of length in the calf there. There's your standing version. Hold that for about 20 odd seconds and then perhaps change sides. Here's your seated version. Front third of the chair will allow you to have that bit more room to extend your leg out. The only thing with posture here is a bit of lengthening, sitting tall. We're gonna get our foot to sit tall as well and for the toes to pull back. So you imagine that you're just trying to push your heel forwards a little bit more. And um, the knee joint shouldn't feel locked, it should be slightly loose. And there we're getting a length into the calf, but you might also feel a little bit of muscle contraction in the shin. Shin muscles are dead small, they tire quite quickly. So if that's getting tired, ease it off and then maybe go back into the stretch um, when you're ready. Or even swap legs and come back round to repeat it on the other side again. It has a longer rest there, of course. Toes pulling back, pushing the heel forwards, holding it at point of stretch tension. So it shouldn't be all painful or uncomfy. There is a slight bit of uncomfiness that we, we want here, but it's something that's not um, off-putting to hold. Take a pause there when you've done. And in seated, we're going to go into the upper body stretches. 
those of you who are in standing who'd like to come into seated then feel free to do so have your hands either at the side of the chair and back a little bit and then we can hold on to the chair a little squeeze the shoulder blades together and really get some opening in the chest area there or you can place your hands either palms or back of hands on the side of your hips side of your bottom and then squeeze the shoulder blades together from there and it's up to you where your hands are positioned and that can that can come into play for how your shoulders feel lifting lengthening squeezing the shoulder blades try not to arch the back or let the bottom pop try and keep your um, bottom tucked in so that your back isn't arching away there hold and breathe breathe and hold and then ease on out of it when you're ready right i'm going to come in a little bit closer to do our upward side stretch but of course if you are staying in standing when we do the full reach you may prefer to hold on to something and when you're in seated hold on to the side of the chair if you're going up into the full reach here we are though so hand on shoulder any hand you choose um, elbow tucked in so as it goes up your arm stays quite close to your head your head stays in this neutral position and the shoulders and collarbone are level so not too much like on a tilt when you take a deep breath in in a moment try and lift the chest as you breathe in lengthen through the back of your arm pushing the elbow up a little bit more and then ease out of it staying on the same hand and side going into the full reach um, if you're not happy if your shoulders aren't happy on that full reach then really work through this first position again build up the mobility and flexibility around that when you're getting your elbow a little bit higher then your arm will probably feel better on a full reach there ease it down support it if you need to other side so elbow tucked in quite close to your head as you as you lift it up you might want to walk your fingers just over towards your shoulder take a moment here just feeling the stretch in the back of the arm we do want it to start to pull into the side and this relates to your your turning over or lying positions in bed and also anything reaching above your head so here's the deep breath in there's the lift through the chest the length through your body the extra lift through the elbow and trunk and then relax down full arm stretch if you like working through the first position up 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 and hold hold it there if you if this is it for you otherwise palm is in slightly holding on to external support or chair real big reach and you can see there the shoulder does dip to get that extra height through the reach and you're all rooked up once you're done so just a rearrange clothing and we'll move into the back of thigh stretch we will add in an inner thigh stretch as well but we'll do that as our final stretch so here in seated seated perhaps i feel is the best place to do um this back of thigh stretch coordinate coordination wise and balancing standing may be a consideration so seated offers no balance challenge at all so get one leg out straight hands are going on to the bent knee just to give the upper body posture a bit of support as we lean and just before you lean lengthen through sitting really high onto your sit bones there your spine should be feel long your shoulders relaxed and we're going to try and maintain that as we go through a hinge forwards and that's a hinge from the hips not a bend through your back so just notice what your posture is doing here lean as far as you can but not into a really uncomfortable pull into the back of your leg. It should be mildly uncomfy, the stretch tension there, back of your knee up towards your hips. 
and increasing flexibility on the muscles in the back of the legs is great if you've certainly been up on your feet walking, stair climbing, gardening um, and doing all those types of things. A good thing to do um, if muscles are a bit tired and tight. Press a bit more into that stretch if you feel you can. Now your lean might be a bit further or you might be a bit more upright than I am but everybody's got their point of stretch at a slightly different angle. So make sure that it just feels right for you. Let's have a change of sides. So loose ankle, loose knee. We've already stretched the calf and if we pull the toes back, you will feel it in your calf. So relax the foot away from you. Sit tall, sit high onto your sit bones. Relax through your shoulders. And really, as you tilt forwards, it's like a hinge from your hips. So your chest should still feel lifted. The top of your head down to your tail, perhaps a bit of a diagonal line there. And a bit of a pull in the back of your leg is just where we need it. These muscles can get tight and tighter and tighter over the years. And they are, when we're in seated positions, they are the muscles that are in a shortened position when we've got our knees bent and our feet maybe tucked back a bit. So it really is an important muscle to stretch. Um, and it helps with our bending down, reaching down, getting to do stuff at foot, feet level as well. Ready for inner thighs? I'm gonna change my chair around to face you. So from this hip distance position, not quite square, there we go. Just take your feet a little bit wider, give those legs a bit of a helping hand wider if you need to, and try and turn out your toes and point your knees in the same direction as your toes. From there, let's go through that sitting high on the sit bones, posture check, lengthened position that we've just done before our um, back of thigh stretch. And here you can add a bit of pressure onto the inside of your knees to turn out the legs a bit wider and a little bit of a lean and a tilt forwards too. Now inner thigh flexibility uh, helps with getting in and out of seats, cars, benches and turning over in bed if you're rolling onto your back to turn over. And just press a little bit more there and recover. Bring those legs back into normal position and we have a wrap. Job done. Here's your sway and stretch. Well, there's your sway and stretch. It's gone now. Um, any additional stretches? So you're late, are you, for an important date, Sandra? <laughs> it, am I your important date? I hope so. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, there's your sway and stretch. Um, feel free to crowbar in some additional stretches, um, especially if you've been leaning over, hunched over doing stuff. The chest, even the back extension from the morning routine really um, does well uh, with anything whereby you felt lint or hunched over. If you've been out walking, leg stretches are the best thing to do. So add in a couple more of those. Um, I suppose the last thing to say is have a lovely evening. We're going to shut the curtains now. The fire's on. Um, it has been snowing on and off today, but then sun shining as well. So not quite sure what's going on there. Uh, see you tomorrow, 4pm, same place, same time. Be there.